Hi everybody, welcome to the Tiny Studio. I am your girl Nail. How are you doing? This video is kind of more like a personal video. This is going to give you a little background into why I am doing what I am doing, the purpose, and maybe this can inspire you as it continues to motivate me to continue on my journey um, in this life and on this planet. So one of the reasons why I started this channel is because I want to be um, I want to be a digital nomad. That is my ultimate goal. Well, that is my primary goal because I would like to live. I would like to be able to create from any place on this planet. But more specifically, I would like to continue my artistry over into the motherland, the mother continent, which is Africa. I haven't decided exactly where I want to repatriate or what country I would like to repatriate to. It's a toss up between Ghana, Senegal, the Gambia, Nigeria, and Kenya. So those are with a little bit of, of a leanings toward Rwanda. But in order to make that happen, there are some things I need to do right now while I am stateside in the U.S. Of course, my first goal in becoming a person who is preparing to repatriate is getting my mindset together. And what does that look like for me? I am a woman of a certain age. I am an author, a writer, an artist. And I face certain health challenges. I have asthma. I am working with um, weight gain, weight loss issues, um, which with that comes high blood pressure and the things that goes along with that. And I find that getting my mindset to, together right now is what is preparing me to eventually repatriate to the motherland. And see, here's the thing. When I first decided or had the idea of repatriation, I thought that it was just one of those fleeting type of things, you know, one of those, those, um, you know, those ideas that you get and that you have in your head and you say, oh, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be grand? And then you just forget about it because you say, you talk yourself out of it. You say, oh, well, that's never going to happen to me. I it happened for me. I don't have the means. I don't have the, the, I don't have the huspa to, to do what it is that I set out to do. And besides, it sounds ridiculous and other people listening are going to tell me that it's ridiculous. And that's why I haven't really talked about this publicly. And I've hinted around it on social media, but I haven't really talked about repatriating to the motherland as I am doing today. And I've watched so many of our African-American brothers and sisters and some of our brothers and sisters um, throughout the diaspora repatriate to the motherland. And as I'm watching, I'm watching their journey, um, their daily journey, what it does for me is it educates me and prepares me for my own repatriation to the motherland. And you may say, how is that? Well, as, I, as I've said, I have situations going on, which at times I have looked at as a hindrance and a roadblock and not a stepping stone. So, in the next coming months, when you see me on here in the tiny studio, 
you're going to start seeing me going through changes, which is you're going to start seeing uh, weight dropping off of me. You're going to start seeing different, I'm going to look different. <laughs> And I'm probably going to sound different because the idea is to start doing the work so that when I make that move to the motherland, I will be able to sustain myself physically, emotionally, and spiritually because that is the goal. So in order to do that, I'm working on becoming um, a digital nomad, which means I will be streamlining everything that I do onto into having and maintaining a digital presence. So I'm already a freelance journalist, so I will be expanding that. I'm already an author, so I am going to be feeding into that. I am a blogger. I'll be feeding more into that and dedicating more of my time into that arena. And I'm a podcaster, so I will be really slowly incorporating everything, my whole entire digital presence into really creating that digital nomad footprint so that I can move completely from America to the motherland. And that is the goal. I have a time frame that I'm playing with that I don't want to talk about publicly, but there's a time frame that I'm looking at and it's based on how successful I am with this putting my digital nomad footprint together and actually in being able to generate income. Because even though I hold multiple degrees, I'm not going to the mother, the mother, I'm not going to or repatriating to the motherland to look for employment because I am my own businesswoman. I am my own employer. I am an entrepreneur. And that is the mindset that you have to go over to the motherland with unless you have or you're playing with unlimited funds. So if you're playing with unlimited funds, then of course your story may be a little different than mine. But being that I'm going to have to be strictly entrepreneurial when I hit the ground running in the motherland, I need to be working on that right now. Before I totally pick up, I want to be able to have that blueprint already functioning because that is how you win, right? Right. Now, I, I am aware of a lot of challenges that are going to occur as I begin that process of settling in on the motherland. And I, I don't know if I'm ready. I am knowledgeable and I'm, I'm armed with the knowledge. But you know that old saying, you got to walk a mile in the shoes <laughs> to be able to understand. So I am already at the point where I know that there are going to be challenges. And I need to have the heart and the fortitude to be able to withstand them. Now, my goal in repatriating to the motherland the reason I feel very strongly about leaving this country, the country of my birth, is simply because there are some things going on in the United States and I think that it's time for people of color to be make their escape. <laughs> if you can. And 
if it can only be, if you're the only person in your family that can make that escape, then you should do so. And that's my plan. My plan is with my family, my immediate family, is to make that make that um, journey to the motherland, get that get that you know get the whole ball rolling over there so that I can be able to invite my other family members to join me in um, wherever it is that I'm settling in the homeland in the motherland and it's it's kind of like what other cultures do when they arrive in the US it's usually a scout that comes one or two people they come over and they get the house or you know the, the homestead going and they have their un, their employment situation you know they get all of that going they they get the footprint cemented and then they send for the others their other family members and their other families journey over and they make it work and that's my plan for repatriating i am that that, that scout i will be the person and my fat immediate family members will be the persons that will begin the process and then we will make way for the rest of our family if they so choose to join us the invitation will always be extended and open and I just feel that in me speaking about it publicly, I just feel that this is, for me, the way to really live out my destiny and to fulfill part of my purpose here in this world today. I want to go back to basics go back to where my roots are and give back to the culture but while I'm giving back I want to also embrace and be able to enjoy and immerse myself in who I am now it is true that my DNA as most black Americans DNA that we have we carry different cultures within us which for me that would be um, I carry Chinese within me I'm African I'm also Native American with a little smidgen of Caucasian or European ancestry but predominantly more than likely I am African and I want to I want to know and I want to honor and I want to be on the continent that my ancestors thrived on and that they lived on and that they enjoy and that they they built families and destinies and legacies that is my own legacy to plant both of my feet on the motherland and to to thrive to enjoy it so that's the purpose of simply nails tiny studio is to not only just showcase my art and to provide motivation and support and all those great things entertainment my my goal is to be able to move forward and be that digital nomad and live in the motherland and still thrive as an entrepreneur and as an artist that's my goal and i just want to thank all of pe all of the people of African descent across the diaspora 
who are making their way to the motherland, who are really going through it <laughs> occasionally, who are really working hard. And even though some of them are undergoing the pressures and the stresses of living in a new land that is obviously different than the one that they left, even though they're going through a lot, seeing their story and watching them live their, their journey is such motivation and so encouraging and so inspirational because anything worth having is worth the journey to get there, in my opinion. And for me to repatriation, for me, really is the fact that in Africa, there is a freedom that people of color experience that they experience nowhere else on this planet. Nowhere else. And every person that I have ever talked to about Africa, they say the same thing. They say that if you are a person of color, when you hit the shores of Africa, you are truly home and you are free. And that is a feeling that I want to experience and I want my family to experience. I want my children to experience that. What it really means to be free, not this pseudo freedom that we enjoy here in the States because that's all we know. You know, here, freedom is not really free. In the motherland, freedom is free. There are, there are no strings attached to it. Your destiny is your own. You can make of it what you will without someone breathing down your neck and dictating to you what that freedom looks like, what that freedom is going to cost you in the end. So I'm going down this road of repatriation and I will be speaking more about it on this channel in the future. And have you ever thought of visiting the motherland? Have you ever toyed with the idea of repatriating? What are your thoughts on that? And I know that it's going to be a challenge. I understand that. I understand that when I use the bathroom and I run water and without thinking, let the water run. When I become conscious of it, I remind myself that that type of waste is unnecessary. Flicking on a, a switch to have lights and, and, and to cook on my stove and microwave all of those things all of those things that i take for granted here in the u.s because my so-called freedoms allow me to do so in the motherland it's about being grateful and about truly living under grace and understanding that the things that we take for granted here cannot do so in the motherland. And I'm learning those things right here, preparing my mind and preparing my heart for this journey. Because 
when you have certain things and you live a certain kind of life in the U.S., you're spoiled. Even the most economically economically uh, the spirits folks we still have sometimes just a little bit more than our cousins in the motherland just a little bit but what they have over there is their freedom that's what they have. And I just want a little slice of that. <laughs> just a little slice of it. But what do I plan on doing in the motherland? Well, basically what I'm doing today, and I have other entrepreneurial ideas that I'm going through and that I'm working with and developing and once I hit the the uh, the sands or the, the land of my ancestors, a lot of those things that I am working on right now are really going to make sense because I'll be right where the supplies and the things, the materials that I'm working with, I'll be right there and those elements will help me to really bring what I'm working on into fruition. Even though it's happening now, you know, just being there is going to mean a lot. But I see myself, I see myself having a nice cute little shop in the market with some of my beautiful textiles maybe selling some fabrics, jewelry, maybe opening and starting my own boutique there. Who knows? In the motherland, sky is the limit, or I should say your own perception is the limit. But that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> if you have any questions and comments about repatriation and things of that nature, and you want some more video content about uh, what I'm doing right now to become a digital nomad, you know, let's get it popping. Let's talk about it in the comment section. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. And every time you you like this video or you tune in to Simply, Simply Nails Tiny Studio, you are helping me push forward in making my dreams of repatriation come true. Thank you so much. And if you would like to hear more of why I think is or find that it's necessary for me to repatriate to the motherland, you know, let me know and I will get more into it for another video or another episode of Simply Nails Tiny Studio. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in the tiny studio today. I'm Nell. Have a great day.